So here's a couple of films about the home and Thomas Wood fisheries. We're going to start with the access. Uh, this is the village of Goodrich. Goodrich Castle's up there. The hostelry and pub is behind. Goodrich School is right there. There's a postcode on your map. Um, we're going to get there in a second, but this is where we start. You see the signs over there, youth hostel, Courtfield and Welsh Bicknet, and a dead end sign. Don't worry about the dead end sign. We're going to be turning off to the fishery way before then. Keep your eyes on the road, of course, but don't forget to take in the view. Take a look at that down there. So as per your map, this is the first catwood. This is a fork in the road as marked on the map. Go to the right and head down, you'll head to the Youth Hostel Association. You can park down there for home fishery and it's about a 10 minute walk upstream to the low limit. Um, so that's on the right fork. To access the main parking for home and Thomaswood fisheries, you've got to keep left. Not go straight on through the estate gates, it's keep left at this fork. Here's another one where you don't forget to um, take in the view. Down there, that's Lynbrook and the river's down in the bottom. This is the beautiful Caulfield Estate. At this point here, look out for the sign there, Courtfield Estate, Thomas Wood and Home Fisheries, left. So here we are at the main gates of fisheries. Leave the gate as you find it. If it's open, leave it open. If it's closed, leave it closed. So I'm gonna nip out, gonna open the gate. We're gonna go down the go down the track of doom, as it's known. Um, you'll see it's not so bad. We'll drive down to the bottom and then we'll be taking a look at each one of the fisheries. Just for the interest of this film, I'm just gonna leave the gate open and we're gonna to continue to drive down to the bottom. God, I don't know how we managed that. So there we are, bottom of the track of doom. Um, left upstream is Thomas Wood. This is the boundary between the two fisheries. From here downstream is home fishery. So room for two cars here. It's all on your map, where to park and what have you. Um, the one thing we mustn't do as we go along about either of these fisheries is park on the bank, but you're welcome to drive along to drop kit off and then use parking spots at each end. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go on to Thomas Wood. I'm just gonna point out as we go along out the window, show them where the swims are. We'll count them up. I'll show you a little bit of what, it like, what it's like at the end of the fishery um, or it, as it go into Thomas Wood itself. Um, and then we'll come back and do, um, do the other fishery. So here we go, swim number one. Um, down there, there's a bit of a cry and a crease, nice pace to the water. You might just be able to see that over my shoulder. You can see that the bank is worn. That's what, 150 yards from the car park. <laughs> swim number two, um, might fish better in a little bit of high water, <clears throat> but there's certainly, there's a path down there. Obviously there's lots of areas where there are no paths down to the, um, down to the river. And that's because there's no swims there or the bank's too steep. So when people say, well, the bank's too steep, I can't get down there, we don't put swims in because it's too dangerous. So we'll only put swims in where it's okay. So that's swim number two. I'm just gonna take the camera and show you something here. This is now the far section at the middle of Thomas Wood. A few pheasants around. See, so you've got beautiful pacey water. <clears throat> There's a gutter underneath the bank here that runs all the way down. Um, and then you get to the cores at the bottom. So this obviously isn't really fishable from this bank. Um, there is a gravel beach out there, but the other fishery use that. <clears throat> what we can do is just up here, there's a couple of gravel beaches up there. Um, I'll show you the access to those in a moment. You can get down, you can run a float and you can wade around and whatever else. So this is the access down onto that gravel. We've had rain the last couple of days, so the river's carrying about a foot. So I'm not gonna go down there, but otherwise in low summer levels, this is the really nice, productive, fast section of Thomas Wood. So main swim in the meadow number three, um, dead tree. Uh, There's a really nice flat spot at the bottom. Fish is better in high water, but this is a productive swim. Um, there's a club that control the opposite bank. 
there's a couple of anglers over there now, so that'll tell you that um, if you know if they're fishing, then um, it must be a productive area. But yeah, swim number three. <laughs> swim number four. Again, probably a bit better in high water, but um, yeah, swim number four. <laughs> swim number five. So you can see as you're going along, you can identify where the swims are, where the vegetation just dips in a little bit. And that means that there's a path down. Go up to the edge, approach with caution, look over, and you'll usually see a little worn path and then a flat ledge at the bottom. That's what you've got right there. Swim number five. There's a couple more like that up here, six and seven, and then we're nearly at the end of the meadow. So yeah, here we go. This is swim number nine in the meadow. Um, again, another little worn path goes down, flat spot at the bottom. Um, that's the meadow swims done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up here. This is where you should park. Um, and it goes up into the wood and I'll explain a little bit more when we get there. So when you reach the end of the meadow, there's this gate here. Leave that for a second, Nick. Um, as you'll see there, angler's parking. So you come through the gate, pull up, room for parking here. So as you've driven along the meadow, you can drop your kit off and you can decide whether to park down there or park up here. So. Uh, we've probably got what I don't know 600 yards 700 yards of meadow there now got nearly three quarters of a mile of this beautiful English beach woodland a few evergreens in there too um, gets nice shade this does from the from the summer sun so um, you get the morning sun over there come lunchtime it goes this is lovely and cool and dark really deep spots and a lot of this is completely untouched um, and unfished but I know that there's one swim right here. I'm going to show you that as an example. So there you go, another swim that requires a mountain goat. Uh, no, I'm joking. So just right there, come down, you've got a nice flat spot here. Beautiful bit of river. I'm talking quietly because there's a couple of anglers on the far bank. Um, but yeah, there are several of these going up. You've just got to look and find them or, or you know, make your own. A lot of these nettles, it's only a few nettles, just knock them back and get yourself in. There you go, so that's that piece of Thomas Wood Fishery. Load of exciting stuff up there um, and some much more accessible open swims in the meadow. I'm just going to spin around and we'll head back. So there you have it, that's Thomas Wood Fishery. Um, just to recap, nine or 10 swims up through the meadow, uh, fast water on gravel, uh, higher banks better for higher flow, but also high banks with level areas that you can fish during normal flow. Then you go up into the wood, there's three or four swims up there already sort of marked out and we'll have you to get fish quite a bit. Um, and then you've got another half a mile, three quarters of a mile of pretty much untapped fishing. Um, heading all the way back up nearly into Goodrich. So we started, um, and we're now going to show you the access on the way out of the fishery, up the track of doom. So look, I was driving out, uh, there was a car coming in, a little Audi, um, somebody's fishing today. Um, the other little car at the end, so the track of doom isn't that bad. So as much as I'd like to say, yeah, I've got a four x four and some would say they're not a proper four x four, but let's not get into that argument. They're as good as they get on the continent. Um, what you've got is you've got small cars, as has just been evident coming in and out. It really isn't that bad. You've just got to be sensible um, and ignore all the scaremongering about needing the RAF and the SAS and um, under no circumstances, dare attempt the track. Um, it, it just isn't that bad. Just got to be a little bit sensible. If it's hammering down with rain and we've had loads, then okay, park at the top here. You're allowed to and walk. It's not that far. I know it's not ideal, but it really isn't so bad. So anyway, look, that side, let's stop talking about the track of doom, please. Um, home and Thomas Wood Fisheries, you've seen the access, you've seen the, the, the vehicle access along the banks, you've seen the swims, loads to go at, amazing settings. 
um, and and the fishing's not bad either. So look, I hope these have helped, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. That'll do, Nick.